Think of the holidays so wonderful and true, so kind of sight, what a wonderful day to be. Of all the wonderful creations and all the wonderful things, of all the things done and shared in creation and given and shared and all the possibilities unknown. Think of this and think of that. Think of what could be, but not of that. But not of that which you do know could be, but that of which is not known, that which has not yet to be, that of what has yet to come, that which shall be, but maybe, but you do not know. Something unknown, and if unknown, imagine that. Such a wonderful thing it'd be. Such a fantastic thing. Think of what you could be. Unknown. Undone. Unknown by any but thee. But not even that. Not even known by thee. Something new indeed. Like a new spark, a new light within your soul, your heart, your time. Such wonderful things and dreams of unknown things and possibilities. Of a future uncharted, a future unknown. Never to be known and never to be. Because you never know what could be a future. Endless possibilities. To think you know a future true. But what if that were to change or turn or twist? Or what if they did something different? But what if you did? But what could be? What is of now shared within creation? Think of all those things that done upon creation shared so true. Of this and that and each of things. Of here and there and everything. Think of it. Of all those things that are done and given and shared in themselves. Those things, those deeds that people do for others that they would do for themselves, that they share it. Think of all those wonders and joys and fantastic things. And think of all the possibility there of what could be of you, of what you could share with creation, of what you could do. Imagine it. Imagine it all beyond belief. Imagine each thing that could be of you so true. Imagine it all. Beyond wonders and beyond life, beyond days and beyond creation, beyond what you even can possibly comprehend, of what you could be now imagined true, upon comprehension, something new. But that has been done in the end, oh yeah, it might be a possibility, it is a possibility. But does it have to come to be? No, it doesn't. That if. If the end, you know it true. But what on the other side of if, what if not the end? What would come to be? What wonders and delights? What joys and possibilities? What if not the end? What on the other side could be? What is it we work towards throughout our lives and throughout our days? Oh, think of all the wonders, if not the end, of what you seek, of what you dream, and not the end of what they dream. Together, united, working together towards a common goal, a common dream, a common light. Imagine all the wonders of this world and all the fantastic days and dreams that are possible without the end. Without that which is just given and not shared. Imagine the deeds you've done in life and remember the times you've shared and the creations you have done for which there was no end. Impossible sight. When you were just living to live and having fun to live. When you were existing to be and having fun to be. When you were remembering who you were and what you sought. And you were creating your dream. Not seeking others to create it for you. But doing it yourself and being it yourself. And living as you choose. Now that is the greatest gift right there. What you do choose to share with creation. With all of us, each and every one. That you share it with. Not that which is just given. But that which you choose to share in yourself. That which is your dream. Do you know how to reach your dream? Do you? Think of it. Think of it true. How do you become what you dream? What you already are. You just have to take the step in the right direction and continue. What is it you dream of being? That is a wonderful thing. 
that right there, you there, of what you dream. Just you alone, not the rest of creation, just your part of what you seek. Nothing else, just you. No one else, just your part. That around, just prop work and possibility. Could be, can be, who knows. But does it matter? If you are is what you dream, is that not truly, are you not truly living your dream? Are you not truly being your dream? Are you not truly your dream of what you sought to be? So yes, they will create a mess. And some will stand in your way and do what is just given. Why? I haven't a clue. I have never figured it out. And I don't seek to. Because <laughs> it seems to be of no value. Some seek all others to create it for them. Their dream. Mistake. Okay, they threw in a dream. Completely. Completely threw it away. Now they have none of it probably. Well, but maybe a little bit. Maybe upon them. But are they truly the part which they sought to be? That which was their dream. Their dream of who they wanted to be. They were so concerned with the prop work and the possibility upon that they threw away the one thing they truly sought for what? For what? So why would you choose to do that? And if you have, why don't you change your path? Why don't you choose to do something different? Why don't you choose to create your dream by sharing it and doing it yourself? Because you don't need them, really. Do you? Or do you? No, not really. Not to be your part with it. Oh, different props and different things. This upon, that upon. But tell me something. Does it really matter who it is? That prop is about? As long as you are what you seek. As long as you be what you are. And you choose to share that dream, that great desire. Because I know it's amazing. I know it is fantastic. I know it is beyond belief or sight or wonders of times or rhymes. Think of it. Think what it could be. Think of each thing that could be in sight. Think what you could be. What you could share with creation. What you could exist as. What your meaning could be. Imagine what you could share. What you could represent. What you could speak, what you could talk, what you could play as loud as possible, what you could be without taking the choices of others, but never objectifying, never trying to take and force them into it, but just you and you alone. No one else, just you. Imagine it. What could you be? What is the possibility then? Imagine all that you seek. There's only one possibility. Imagine another, and another, and another. Each one just as great and maybe better. Well, imagine coming together and get apart. Imagine all the things you could do, all the different possibilities for just you, as you just offer a choice, as you share your desires with creation. Think of it. Imagine. Imagine all the beauties and lights and hopes that each individual can bring. Imagine that light you can shine. If you cast away your shadow thoughts, your thoughts of just you, when you cast off that shadowy choice, that choice that is only a shadow, that choice that is just of you, because it is your shadow, and no one else matters to you there. But you do matter here, because we remember, we are talking about what you will share with creation in me. What you will do yourself within creation in me. Not anyone else. No one else can do it for you. There's no one else out there that can. Not even God knows what you're going to do. God has possibilities. Could do this. Could do that. Could do this. Could do that. Could even do this. But does God know what you're going to choose? No. Because God represents your right to choose. Does anybody... Does any being know what you're going to choose next? What you're going to do next? Or how you're going to do it? 
Think about it. Feel yourself. Maybe something tries to take control of you again. Try to shift you this way and that. But can they truly? Can they take from you? Your ch- can they truly know it, how you're going to? Why you're going to do it that way? And what your intent upon doing it is going to be? And all the possible ways you could do it? Imagine, if you will, for a second. I hear you sit, wondering, could it be? Could I do that? Could I actually be what I see? Could I be what I dream? Imagine just for a moment that you do. Imagine that another is. Imagine what they could be. Imagine what I could be. Imagine what you could be. Imagine what you could be together. You, me, and all others. If we offer a choice. And yeah, some things you're not going to want. Yeah, it's not your thing. Some things they're not going to want. Not their thing. But does that make what you want any lesser than theirs? No! Does it make what they want any lesser than yours? No! Does it make what you want any better than theirs? No! Maybe for you, not for them, not for creation. It is their choice. What they do choose. And if you take that away, oh no, look what you just did. You just took away their dream. That part, the piece of what they love and what they dreamed to be. She took away a choice of what they wanted. I mean, you forced a choice at what cost to them and what cost to you. Because now what do you live to create? What is it you do? What is it you create yourself now when you do that act? Do you create anything? You create something. You do something. Maybe you're creating uh, nothing upon them. But you're not. You're creating something. But I don't think you want that of your meaning. I don't think you want to be of that. Do you? For what something you just give? And why? Why? Well, what reason was it? Was this truly rooted in what? But what do you truly choose? What is it you truly seek? Not to do that, do you? Think of it. Do you choose to be that? Which makes that mess, that rot, then creation. That, that takes from all their dreams and hurts all those others. Do you choose to be that? Do you want that? Well, we don't, if you do. So I don't. I don't think they do. I don't think you would. Would you? That wouldn't be fair to them. But I guess since you want it, it would be fair to you. Because I love of them. I love of each of you. Even you. That's why I would take it from you from them. Uh, I think we all should, really shouldn't. Protect the dreams of others so we may see a land of prosperity. Remember what I spoke of. Of those who, a world where people choose to share and give. Give and share together by choice of what they seek. And don't take from that. And keep the order of things. The greatest order of all in the share of choice. Think of the order of creation. All these different people, all these different people, ever, all these beings, choosing what they seek in life, choosing what they want. I mean, there's some big ones out there. There's protection. We all want to be protected. We don't want to be killed. We don't want to be tortured. We don't want our property stolen. We don't want to be hurt. We don't want to be assaulted. Because we don't like those things. Or maybe you do. Well, you know, I, I don't think that's a great order there. As I think the majority of creation kind of likes to live and exist. Likes to see their families sit. What an order there that share. What are all the people that share in that? Isn't it beautiful? I 
Y'all be working together for that. Standing up for that. Loving that. You know, some try to take from it. Don't really care about others. Just give of that. Let that give. Those people that do that. They just take and hurt others. Take from the protection of others. Just go out there and they just give. They have no share in that. They themselves want to be protected. They don't want that kind of thing. Do they? Would you? Do you? Do they? Would you? But did you? Would they? But do you again? Or maybe you never did. But some did. Some did not. Which do you choose? See, it's all about choice in life. And that's the order of things. That is how things work. It isn't about controlling other people. It isn't. It is all about Christ's It is all about choice. What you choose to do. And you choose to take from the choices of others. What does happen? Why would you want this so? Think of your soul. That step you take. That choice you make. That step you do. Well, take a step without your soul upon the earth or the soul of your shoe upon the earth. Without your soul. Can you take a step with that? That soul, that all controlling thing. What can you take with your soul, huh? Well, why would you do that to somebody? Well, what could they be? What could they be? What could they do for you? What possibility is there that they could accomplish? What wonder could they share with you? Creation. Oh, that is one possibility. But we got so much protection out there. You know, I don't think we got much to worry about there. Plus, if you try to take soul, more likely, you're the one doing that. To try and take it. Try to force the choices of others. I mean, seriously. Do you dream of being a being that destroys dreams? That hurts and harms all others in creation? There's a vileness and beggary? It's true. You take so you are a beggar. You live your life by request. I was asking others to do what you seek, to be what you want. May freedom ring, and the shackles of need lie upon the enslaver. Think of it. That enslaver, that thing trying to take your soul, really has a little. You say no to them, should it come about, if you were to. What would they have? Not yours. Not what you do for them. They would have none of what what they all do. What if they were to? Each and every one. And if you were ever in this situation, what if you all were to? What would they do? Calling their bullies? What if they said no? How would they stand alone against all that which they had taken? As the share of protection arises for you as well. Among you, as you work together, as a unity, as the light shines and not a shadow game of light. Think of this little light. Think of it true. This little light shining so bright. My light, your light shine together as we share in choice. We don't just think of ourselves. We will arrest people and ourselves. And we share what we seek in life by choice, by the shift. Think of that light. Think of that shine. Think of the brightness of that delight. 
that you would create of yourself for all others within creation. And how wonderful a world you would have. So many more would shine as we can choose to be, as I choose to be at times, or as you choose to be. At times, I do not shine as bright as I would like. My desire is still so great for you all to see you all shine greater and brighter than I. To see the world shine so bright upon the night sky that the stars themselves dim upon the daylight that the sun seems to tint and almost fade away in the brightness of how we shine and our choices that we share and so many do. I want to see so many more. So I want to see a world of prosperity like no other. And together, united, we can. Sharing our choices with creation. By choice. By creating it ourselves. And being what we seek in our dreams. By what you seek in your dream to be. And that dream, and that dream, and that dream, and that dream. And all those dreams possible. Which is endless. It never ends. Ever. You can always find more to do. Because you're not working towards an end. You're working towards a dream. A desire. Of share upon creation. And how much can you share? How much can you create? And as you create and as you share together. How much is possible? What can you do? Now think of what all creation can do. Imagine it all. Imagine it. Such a beautiful dream. It's so much of it already existing. So many people living that dream. So much mess upon them. So many walls and barriers. But remember your dream? Remember your dream. Do not do that which they speak of you need. Remember your dream. Remember how it was you were in your dream. How did you handle it in your dream? How would your dream handle it? How would they do it? How is it what you dream to be handled at? What possibilities is there? You do it this way, or that way, or that way, or that way. And none of them would say you need to do it. So many different ways you can. How would you do it? Which one would you choose? How would you do it? How would you break through their walls? How would you reach what you seek? And when you share and give with creation, how many possibilities are there? But you choose to give. And just a shout out, how many possibilities is there? What? This is just you. When you think of all of creation, what you share is to share. How many possibilities do you have? When you seek to share your meaning with creation, your dream with creation through you. By being and doing it yourself. Think of it. Imagine it. See it. Now do it. You can't if you choose to. There's the answer to that though. How is it in the dream that you work? Whatever way. Whatever way. Whatever way possible in that share upon creation. Outside of that shadow of need. It's just of you that one possible way. And all those methods to say. Look. Can you look upon this shadow wave? You'll notice they all follow the same. The same method. They say they seek different things. But they do the same things in the same wise and same intent. They think they're better than everybody else, yet they're lesser. When well, actually, we're all equal. We're all just part of creation, each one. They believe they own creation. The creation is theirs. They all must choose creation. They seek or gluttony. Greed says that they should have it all. Show me this. There is not fair for anyone else to have anything. Not a share that you give and not a share that anyone else gives. But how would your dream solve that? That pride and that gluttony combined together. Thinking they're better creation than all creation. Just do what they want. How would you and your dream solve that? How would you overcome that being? 
that obstacle upon you. Because I use the same methods pretty much. How would you do it? You yourself. I'm going to come there for you. Don't share with them. They choose not to share with you. They choose to take from all that you do love. All you are sharing with, they do not choose to share. They choose to take something else. To have something other than share. Which is fair. Because they have chosen. it. Of course they want that one thing. Their own thing. Their shadow. Their lust. Whatever it might be, and lust not just to flesh at all times. Many times it's more than that, but not really. It's still just one thing. And look at us all here. How many beings are there within creation? Well, I guess it's just me here right now, but how many beings are there within creation? How many of our species? Birds, right? How many animals? How many have been? How many can be? How many other planes? Other possibilities? How many characters in books and shows? How many characters and beings could there be? Think creation true. And we all just our own little part. They're better than any of the others. Oh, what is that? Oh, lusts. They want one thing for all that. For everything they come in contact with. Everything they know. All beings, all of their species. They want one thing for all of it across the board. Think of what we could have. If we share the choice. What can we have rather than that one thing? What feast of dreams and glorious wonders? Think of that dream feast as a potluck does arise. And this little guy here comes about, this person here and that person there, and you there. Imagine if you bring to that feast of dreams your dream, what you choose to be yourself, what you create of your share, what you choose to share as I do with you now, as I share this little bit of knowledge I do have to aid you in your way, to help you along your path to what you seek. And so much more do I have to share with you. But imagine as, as you come forth and create that dream as that perfect delight. Like that perfect thing upon that table on that Christmas feast. What's your favorite thing? You know, someone else has got somebody else's favorite thing, favorite thing, right? But if we had a way of one, what would we have? One thing. That's not a feast. They not, not, want no one else to bring anything to the table. They will not even choose to sit at the table. So all truth is, they do not choose the feast of dreams. They choose to be alone with their shadow. So let them be alone. So they say they want all others to be and do with what they want and they seek all this stuff. Truth is, they choose what? Not to sit at our table. Not to sit at a table of dreams. Just sit alone. You don't, do you? Do you bring something to the table? Do you choose to share something? Of what you seek to be. That you would have yourself. As I do. As I seek to see. To know thee. Of wonderful things. And here's a little thing. I'll tell you true. A secret of stars, you see. Wish upon a star, yes indeed, and make that wish so great. But don't just stop at that wish there. No, no, no. Sit there in the night skies and dream of what you seek, that great wish. Now make another wish of what you seek, and another, and another. Continue to wish that night upon all the stars it takes. There's so many there. Until you find the path to what you seek as the stars to reach you and your dream and your wish comes true. But it only works 
but what you see. Not for what you seek upon creation, but only what you choose to be yourself. Of your wish. Because I wish to see all your wishes come true. Let the stars guide you and share that wish with creation. Oh, you're not supposed to tell people your wish. How's it supposed to come to be? But you can tell them in a way. By doing it! By action and deed! Or else it will never exist. I don't know where it led astray there. Maybe it's a test of your greed. How much you care for others. But I wish to see you shine. So I will tell you this. Create your wish and share it. And speak of it when you do. Of what you seek so they might know what they do you are either in. And if you cannot, then I ask you this. Why is it that you fear them to know what you wish to be? Because it will never come to be. Because you have not shared it with us. And you can't create it unless you share it. Unless you create it. Or you could just give it. Well, then how would it ever be thee? Well, share that with creation to me. And may your wishes come true indeed. It's a great feast of wishes and dreams, of hopes and wonders. <laughs> oh, my dream, my dream. Oh. oh, she's quite beautiful, dangerous as could be, with two main dangerous mountain peaks. A sweet smile's bright as sunrise, of lights and a sparkle of stars in her eyes, of wishes true, choices be, and steps, steps that guide her to all of these things that make her true, yes. and a harvest so kind, a harvest so much love within, that her stomach is so flat and fine. <laughs> For you see my dream, uh, as most do be, as of a wonderful thing, a sweet woman, who oh, rests every once in a while, like you said, hill stuck right behind, and her flows as wind and fragrance as sweet as petals of flowers arise upon the air as a sweet fragrance be, <laughs> of choice, of share, of scent. Such a sweet dream indeed. A simple dream for myself. A family. Children. A beautiful woman to share and create great things for creation upon. Of course, when I think of what I want to share with you are, uh, well, then it just gets huge. <laughs> it is a many things. But for now, I seek you to know. I seek you to be as you wish, for you to shine as the star and dream you be, of what you choose to be, of choice and share, so you truly be it, not just have it upon you, not just throwing it away, not actually I just do it for you, not a beggary, not a loss, of something more, because I love thee, and you are all as wonderful as creation be. And as for those slothful deeds they didn't want you to do, you know, those acts of creation they would not do themselves. Don't do them. Say no. <laughs> they don't turn wrathful. But of course, they're wrath. I imagine you're dreaming you got kind of fat. And they're probably quite weak in comparison. Because they seek just for themselves. And keep in your heart what you seek. What you choose, what you want to be for creation, what you share, what you want, what you choose to give and share, share and give to creation, and thank you to protect you and to guide you, seeking yourself, the creation which you seek to be, and be it, and choose to do it, and keep to it, and stay the course to weathered storms or winter troubles. I am at a loss, 
Well, I'm trying to think of which more I can share with you. What more could be of you? And there is still more. There's so much more possibility that you can be and I can be with you, of a union grown between us, of light that does shine. But for now, just think of it and imagine and dream and be of that dream and choose to be it. And join us in union of choice. Gather with I and let us share of choice and unite and respect each other. It's choices in life. I respect the right to choose, to support truth and love and support for that which we do. That does benefit creation and us all. So let that little light of yours shine. Let that little light of mine shine. Let all those little light shine together. That are sharing, which is that light, and none of that shadow. Let that little light shine and Merry Christmas. From Christopher David Clayton, the United Unified Bully.